dear class, how are you? 各位同学，大家好，我是刘金星老师，欢迎收看新闻英文二。今天我们要看的是第十七个讲次 ，Chapter Seventeen, Opinion Article Part A。我们在十七个讲第十七讲次当中呢，我们要读的是议论型的文章。那我们今天就要看这篇文章的这个第一个大部分。好，那我们现在呢，就先来看一下本课的学习目标。Learning objectives: One, to study the first part of the full-length opinion article. Opinion article 呢，就是议论型的，呃，作者表示意见的这种社论型的专栏文章。那我们今天呢，就是要看一篇专栏文章当中的第一个大段落，第一大部分。好，我们现在呢来看第二个。第二个学习重点是 to study the topic about the stereotypes of women and other relevant opinions、嗯。好，那么在今天的讲次的文章内容当中呢，我们会读到的呢是和女性有关的这个刻板印象 stereotypes，、嗯、还有其他相关的一些意见。好，在我们进入课文内容之前，我们就先来学一下本课的重点单词。我们先看第一个单词。Pervasive, pervasive, 形容词，普遍的，渗透的。More and more women in society have bravely begun speaking of a pervasive atmosphere of sexism. 社会当中呢，有越来越多的女性开始勇敢的说出性别主义这样的普遍性的氛围。我们看第二个单词 ，stereotypical, stereotypical， 形容词，成规的，老一套的。Now the old man's behavior seems to conform to stereotypical images of the unfeeling male. 并非所有男人的行为呢都符合冷酷无情的男性的刻板印象。好，我们来看第三个单词 ，folly, folly， 名词，愚蠢，愚笨。The article is simply a reminder of the follies of the war. 这篇报道。他要说的就是对战争愚蠢行为的一种提醒 ，reminder 提醒。好，我们看第四个单词 ，gob 名词，大量 gob。There are gobs of studies published in famous journals regarding the gender issues。好，大量关于性别议题 gender issues 性别议题的研究呢，刊载在许多著名的期刊上 ，famous journals。我们看下面一个单词 ，destined, destined， 形容词，命中注定的，指定，预定。例句是 ：Many policies are destined for helping the social vulnerable groups。许多的政策呢，它是指定用来帮助社会中的弱势团体的 vulnerable groups。下面一个单词是 gender, gender， 名词，性别。The protested hiring decisions based on age, race, or gender last week. 他们上周呢抗议 protest 基于年龄、种族或者是性别而制定的雇佣规定。我们看下面一个单词 awakening. Awakening 名词，意识觉醒。The essay indicated that education should be about the awakening of the mind and heart. 文章中指出啊，教育呢必须是关于心智，还有心灵的觉醒。我们看一下一个单词 happen， 常用介系词 to， 动词偶然发生、引起。The chief editor happened to notice the topic raised in the meeting had already been discussed in the magazine。主编呢碰巧注意到呢，在会议上提出的一个主题啊，已经在一本杂志上呢被讨论过了。好，我们看下面一个单词 ，chancellor。chancellor 名词，总理或是大学的名誉校长。In 2002, he was installed as the chancellor of the University of Birmingham. 在二零零二年的时候呢，他被任命为伯明翰大学的名誉校长。好，我们看下面一个单词 ，imparts。imparts 片语的用法，在某种程度上的或者是部分的怎么样？好，我们看例句。The success of the conference last week was in part owing to luck. 好，上周这个会议的成功啊，在某种程度上来说呢，可说是因基于幸运的关系。Luck， 幸运。我们看下面一个单词 ，poll。poll 名词，投票、选举、民意调查。
According to a poll in March, 75% of those surveyed support the policy. 根据三月份的一项民意调查显示呢，有百分之七十五的这个受访者支持 support 支持这项政策 policy 政策。好，我们看下面一个单词 marvel。marvel 常音接介系词 at， 动词对什么感到惊讶，那么常含赞叹的意思。看例句的用法是 ：The audiences around the world marveled at his achievement in performance art. 全世界的观众啊，对他在表演艺术上的成就 achievement 成就赞叹不已。好，我们看下面一个单词 maintenance. Maintenance 名词，维持。The tables in the building had been replaced last month during routine maintenance. 这栋大楼的桌子上呢，桌子呢，在上个月定期维修的期间呢、啊，全部都被更换。Routine maintenance 就是定期维修的意思。好，我们看下面一个单词 ：scrap。scrap 动词，用力擦洗。Many young people volunteer to scrap and take the walls in the city yesterday. 昨天许多年轻人呢 ，volunteer 就是自愿，他们自愿呢去擦洗。在这个市区内啊，被涂鸦啊 ，scrap protecting 被涂鸦的这些墙壁。好，我们看下面一个单词 ，comprise。comprise 动词，包含，包括。The musical festival will comprise seven concerts at the National Concert Hall. 好，这个 musical festival 就是音乐节。这次的音乐节呢，将由在这个国家音乐厅演出的七场音乐会 （concert） 就是音乐会呢来组成的、构成的。好，就是包含了七场音乐会的意思。好，我们看下面一个单词 ：proliferate。proliferate。动词使激增，使扩散。House clubs and private training programs began to proliferate in recent years. 健康俱乐部呢，还有这种私人的训练课程啊，在近几年来呢，开始逐渐的、快速的增加。好，我们看这个字 ，finisher。finisher 名词，到达终点者。完工者 ，the top three finishers in the race will be qualified for the Olympic Games. 每项竞赛的前三名选手呢，将有资格可以前进奥林匹克运动会。好，以上是本课的重点单词，希望同学有时间可以把这些单词呢好好研读一下。那么研读这些单词呢，将有助于大家阅读我们的课文内容。我们等会呢，将非常荣幸邀请到这篇 opinion article 的作者啊、呃，包丹磊包神父呢，来到我们的节目当中。那么作者呢，将亲自和各位同学呢，来解说他写这篇文章的一些想法和用意。那么在第一个大段落当中，就是今天我们要讲解的课文当中，我们要读到的呢，是对女性啊，还有在美国境内对黑人的一些刻板印象。好，那么这些刻板印象呢，包含了什么样子的意象？他们是怎么形成？还有人们应不应该要有这些刻板印象呢？作者其实呢，都有非常呢独到而且深刻的见解。所以等会呢，我们希望同学和我们的作者一块的来阅读这篇文章。然后呢，在阅读的过程当中，也要一起来醒思一下，在我们的生活当中，是不是应该有这些刻板印象？不要让刻板印象局限了我们对我们周边人们的认识。现在我们先休息一下，等会我们一块来读我们的课文内容。好，同学，我们现在要进行的是课文内容解说。今天我们非常开心，邀请到这篇文章的作者包端磊包神父来到我们节目当中，亲自为我们解说这篇文章。那我们现在呢，先来欢迎我们的包神父。Hello, Father Bar. How are you? Could you please say hello to our students? Hello, Cindy, and hello all of you. I'm very happy to be here with you. 好，那我们现在呢就开始呢来看一下我们这个篇课文的这个标题，还有第一个段落。我们将请包神父为我们朗读。那么也希望同学和我们一起和包神父呢来朗读这篇文章。我们现在就一起来看一下第一个段落。Differences fuel silly stereotypes. National Yangming University was the site this past week. Of an international conference on the role of women in science, 
One report on the conference in a local paper noted the words of Arthur Chen, director of Yang Ming's Center of International Affairs. He spoke of the pervasive influence of stereotypes in our lives. Many girls may have been discouraged by their families from choosing science as their major since they were little, said Chen. Even if they were interested in science, uh, this is because our society traditionally still believes girls should major in subjects such as literature. 好的,那么在这个大段落当中呢,我们就是看到了这篇文章的开头,那么想请神父来给我们讲一下,就是您当初为什么会想要来写这样的一篇这个社论呢? Well,第一个理由,Cindy, uh, 是因为当时我们有一个研讨会议在杨文昌那里,有不少的教授同学都来参与这个讨论。这是关于尼孩子尼士尔当学生的时候年轻的时候他们想到毕业以后在社会上能够找什么样的工作是所以我们刚刚看到在这三个短片的段落当中呢作者也就是法勒巴尔他的提到了他参加这个阳明大学的
fields of study. Mm -hmm. And my argument is that we all have talents, whether we're male or female, mm -hmm. and it's it's foolish, it's a folly to think otherwise. Huh. Allow people to develop as they are. Yes. So folly 这个字呢，它特别指的就是很傻的、很愚蠢的想法。那么就是说，如果我们把男孩子和女孩子都定型在某一个刻板印象里面，认为女孩子只能做什么，男孩子只能做什么，那样子的想法啊、呃，对神父来讲呢，这个是不明智的。啊，是很傻的想法。那么，呃，不管男孩或女孩，每一个人都有自己的 talent， 每个人都有自己的专长、才能所在。那么，应该是要按照自己的天赋尽情的去发挥，而不是受限于刻板印象或是自己的性别里面。Right? Is that what you were saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. And、yes. uh, and it's a certain sense of fairness that's also involved right, here.、Mm -hmm. That it's it's not really fair、mm. to judge a person only by their gender in、right. terms of what their abilities or、uh, what kind of service they could offer to society.、Yes. These young people of ours, our young friends,、yes. after they graduate from school. Okay, so Father also mentioned fairness, 一种公平性啊，就是说你能为社会提供的服务和贡献，那么应该用一种公平的角度来看待，而不是呃从性别啊去。规范或局限了你可以为这个社会所做的贡献和服务，那么这样的想法呢，其实是很狭隘、不公平，那当然也是很傻的。嗯，好，那我们再往下来看，神父还有什么要跟我们说的？我们来看后面的段落。Most thinking people are able to connect the dots. They recognize that barriers for women of many cultures. Have rightfully fallen in recent years all across the board. Politics, particularly, seems to have arrived at the days of great awakening. Names of leaders who just happen to also be women are by now the stuff of everyday news. Angela Merkel, Chancellor of Germany, Secretary of Defense Condoleezza Rice, and Politico's Pelosi, Sarah Palin. And、uh, Hillary Clinton of the United States,、uh, Z.P. Livni, Premier Designate of Israel, and President Cristina Fernandez of Argentina readily come to mind. 好，那么在这个段落当中，我们也是一样啊、哦，看到很多人名，然后还有一些呢，呃，蛮特别的一些片语。我们这边呢，就先来请教呃，包老师、包神父。这边 here you mention connected dots. What does it mean? What does this phrase mean? Well,、uh, to connect the dots,、uh, yes. Cindy means、uh, that we draw a line connecting、mm. one、uh, moment of experience or one、uh, piece of interesting international news with another piece of news、yes. or another interesting、uh, phenomenon that's happening in、right. our world. So, for example, if there's one dot in Germany、mm -hmm. in the political sector, so that、uh, the chancellor of the country、yes. is a woman,、uh, uh, Miss、uh, Merkel,、yes. and we connect that dot with Condoleezza Rice in the、mm -hmm. United States, who、yes. several years ago. Yes. Served the president and the people of the United States、right. as a secretary of state, actually. Yes. Yeah. Connected the dot. That dot is one dot, one dot. Connected the dot is what we say in the drawing book, "one look at the dot." That means. So in this case, the author mentioned it. He mentioned it in the example of the dot. He would look at 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 the dot. 哦，就是说把几个地方的事情呢连串在一起来做思考。那 there's another、um, interesting phrase across the board and the day of great awakening. Right. Yes. What do they mean, and why do you use those phrases here in this paragraph? Oh, well, good questions,、uh, <laughs> Professor Cindy. Across the board means、right. uh, on a grand scale, you know, over、uh, a passage of time in many different places,、uh, we can really see. More or less the same phenomena occurring.、Mm. Okay, so it's in、yes. general that's the situation. Okay, 好 across the board 呢，基本上呢就是说，呃，你可以看到就是跨越这个呃邦界的。那么就是 in general 大部分来看的话，哎，可以看到很多呃相类似的情况。那么在这两段当中呢，我想这个朱德就是要告诉我们说，这个女性的这样的领导人物在尤其在政治界呢，其实已经窜出头来了。那我们看到世界各地呢很多的例子。啊，那在这里呢，给我们的读者一个很好的提醒：女生啊，或者女性，她不是只是啊，因为性别关系局限在一个领域而已。那么在政治界，我们看到很多女性其实已经在世界各地崭露头角了。好，那我们现在就先休息一下，等会我们再继续我们课文的解说。
我们刚刚已经看了这篇文章的前面几个段落，接下来我们再往下看。那么我们的作者呢，将在后面段落当中呢，给我们看到呢，呃，更多的一些例子。那我们现在就来一块呢，和包神父来阅读一下我们的文章。A conference this week in Taipei, designed in part to open society's mind about stereotypes about girls and women. And we ought to push open the doors of our minds about other stereotypes we may harbor as well. Voters in the United States head to the polls in a matter of hours to choose their next president. Columnist Nicholas Kristof recently wrote of a Chinese friend who marvels at the thought of Barack Obama winning the election. 好，那么在这个呃段落当中呢，呃，很显然的，毛神父呢，就是从刚刚的这个呃女性的一些刻板印象，还有突破女性刻板印象的一些例子，那么转移到其他的例子了。So father, so now you are talking about another example on stereotype, is that right? That's right. Mm. Uh, the earlier stereotype, uh, right. Cindy, had uh, a reference to girls and women in society and so yes. on. So this other stereotype I'm bringing up. Is uh, would be the color of a person's skin, right. race, mm-hmm. and it just happened that uh, at the time I wrote this particular yes. column, the American people were preparing to uh, vote for the mm-hmm. new president. That yes. was some time ago, and yes. uh, of course, uh, President Obama is mm-hmm. an African American, right. uh, and so. Uh, some people were amazed that the people of the United States yes. would actually choose uh, an African American to be our new president, but yes. that's exactly what happened. Okay. 好，那么在前面段落当中呢，嗯，刚刚作者包神父他所提到的呢是这个呃对女性的刻板印象。那么但是现在在后面这些段落当中呢，神父即将要提到的呢是这个呃对于人们的肤色的刻板印象。那么在神父在写这篇文章的时候，那时候美国正在进行总统的大。选，那么很多的这个投票者呢，啊，都在考虑要把票呢投给奥巴马。那我们知道他是这个非裔美籍的，呃，一位呃黑人的总统，啊，所以这个就是呃神父呢他在后面段落当中呢要来和大家讨论的一个重点。好，那我们接下来呢再往后面读其他的段落。Aren't blacks typically capable of lowly maintenance jobs, scrubbing floors or factory work? At less than enviable pay, how could Americans seriously consider putting a black at the head of their government? I wonder how aware Christoph's friend is of a similar irony that operated in the historically exhausting campaign of Hillary Clinton for the same position Senator Obama seeks. So, Father, here can I ask you a question? Here in this paragraph, you mention Obama and Hillary together, and then, uh, why do you make them in comparison? What would you like to say here? Well, what I'm trying to uh, remind readers of, uh, Cindy, is that uh, Hillary Clinton at that time uh, had been running for the uh, nomination for the presidency in the Democratic Party, yes. and her opponent, her main opponent, was. Mm. The future president, yes. President Obama. So here we had a black uh, African American senator right. running for the nomination of his party. In yes. the same party, we had uh, Hillary Clinton, a woman. Yes. And never before had the people of the United States ever chosen right. either an African American or a woman yes. for their president. And mm-hmm. at this time, for the Democratic Party, mm-hmm. those were our two representatives right. fighting neck and neck. Okay. And in the end, it was a very close decision yes. uh, in the party itself. Mm-hmm. 好，那所以这边神父要提到就是说呢，在呃美国在总统竞选的这样子的呃历史跟过程当中呢，从来没有就是说大家考虑过一位女性候选人，然后跟一位黑人的候选人。那么但是在在呃这一年，就是神父在写这篇文章的时候呢，这个呃民主党里面呢，他们内部的选举当中就出现了一位黑人候选人跟女性的候选人啊，而且呢，他们凭。彼此之间呢是势均力敌的，那所以这两个其实都代表的非常，呃，一般来讲长久以来大家都有的一些刻板印象啊，所以这是一个非常特殊的一个例子。So, um, what did you think about these two candidates? To you, these two candidates represented two kind of stereotypes. Is that what you mean? Well, I was just. Thinking at the time right. I wrote the column, Cindy, that uh, readers 
uh, need, and we all need to see that it would be ridiculous to overemphasize the color of Mr. Obama mm -mm -mm. or the gender of Mrs. Clinton. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, both of these very capable human right. beings would have made a terrific president, in my yes. opinion. By the way, I'm a, a rather devoted uh, Democrat myself, so <laughs> okay. uh, I have a, a bias in favor of their uh, way of doing politics and thinking about world problems. Okay, so Shen Fu Zibin wants to say that if you look at the presidential candidate, just look at his appearance or look at his appearance, 性别这种想法是 ridiculous， ridiculous 名词就是很荒诞的啊，其实不需要的。其实他们两个都是非常有能力的候选人，所以如果我们要看候选人的背景和能力的话，其实应该着重在他们能力上面，而不是呢他们的肤色或者他们的性别。那这是作者他在这个段落当中呢想要提醒大家的地方。好，那么接下来后面还有其他的段落，我们再一起和作者呢来念一下后面的段落。Perhaps African Americans comprise the single largest group of people in the United States about whom stereotypes must proliferate. Might women only rank as second place finishers when it comes to attracting stereotypical images? So for the proliferating, what does the last word mean? Proliferate. Wow. You know, that's a word we don't use often in speaking, uh, mm -hmm. Cindy, but we do use it in our writing. And yeah. proliferate means to grow very fast, very quickly uh, on, a, on a grand scale and to affect uh, many, many, many large groups of people. Yeah. So, for example, uh, nuclear armaments, mm -hmm. the proliferation of the right. nuclear warhead uh, situation, uh, during the 1960s and 70s and 80s, yes. mm -hmm. became a great worry for all the world. Okay, so Chen Fu Gang told us that this word is more used in writing. It's 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 more used in 就是黑人，他们只能做什么样的事情，不能做什么样的事情，这种刻板印象大概是大部分人最多人有的一种想法了。And then here, there's another very interesting phrase, as a second place and finisher. So, what does it mean here? Second place finisher, uh, Cindy. Mm. Actually, it means literally just that. We have a race. Yeah, a B side of some sort. So the yeah. E Ming and the R Ming. The E Ming, the R Ming, da gai nega cha yi han han xiao, de bu dei, kong jian han xiao. So the second place finisher for per, perhaps in American society mm -hmm. for attracting stereotypes. Right. First place, probably black people, okay. African Americans. <laughs> and then in the second place would probably mm. be women. People yes. having these foolish old fashioned ideas. Okay. So here, Mr. Shenfu mentioned that in the United States, the most number of people will attract 产生刻板印象的，可能是对黑人会产生呃最强烈的刻板印象。那么第二名会引来刻板印象的，可能就是女性，就是 gender。好，所以这边呢，他就是作者在这儿呢，就稍微做了一个比较，感觉上好像奥巴马他这个遭受到更多的这个刻板印象的这样的影响跟压力，就是和另外一位女性候选人比起来的话。好，以上呢就是我们在这个讲词当中要为大家解说的课文内容。那么这篇文章后面呢还有很精彩的这个呃段落，我们将在下一个讲词当中为大家再来说明。好，今天我们非常谢谢包神父，谢谢作者来到我们的节目当中，我们下周再见，谢谢，拜拜，拜拜。